Hello, welcome to this very special edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace, reporting live here at the Pasha Rouge here in New York City. Gifted Unlimited Rhymes Universal, better known as Guru, was the better half along with DJ Premier and Gangstar during the late 1980s up until 2006. Guru passed away a little over a year ago due to heart failure. And tonight, many of his friends, as well as the jazz community tonight, is paying a very special tribute to Guru. Presented by Revived Alive, tonight you're going to hear a celebration of Guru's music and Gangstar's music in a way that you've never heard before. Y'all wanna hear it? Yeah. 
shaking the booty like a duty don't stink. I said, um, excuse me, um, and she turned around. Now that baby a frown. Look me up and down. I would have got a lot of money if I was a crime. And man, I can't fuck this girl, man. Fine and I'm intrigued by her lack of interest. Plus, I love a talent, so I had to press. Yes, I did my thing, yeah, we eventually quit. And yo, I can't stress this girl's man. I guess you guys kind of grew up together. Was music always a part of his life? Music was always a part of his life. Creativity was always a part of his life. Being an artist was always a part of his life, yes. Because one of the things that I really loved about Keith Guru was that there was a, a level of positivity as well as consciousness in some of the things that he rapped about and talked about in his music. Absolutely. I mean, he was thinking all the time, he was writing all the time, and he was very, it was very important to him to be responsible, to share what he felt he had learned, um, to, be, to continue to grow and become wiser, and that sort of thing. <laughs> It's 
really a great honor to be able to make a donation to uh, Guru's family and specifically Guru's son, uh, a $5,000 donation. I'm very proud of this. Uh, the music that Guru made with uh, DJ Premier um, and, and specifically the, 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 the music he made uh, as a part of the Jazzmatazz uh, uh, catalog it, it had a profound impact on my life. Um, I know a lot of these guys, I met them, Premier, Fat Gary, Sarah Honda. Um, it's, a, it's really a family and uh, it's, a, it's really a great honor to, to make this contribution to, to Lana, uh, to, to Guru and their son. Uh, so here we go. Thank you very much. Hope you guys had a great evening tonight. Give it up for Guru, y'all. It's been a little over a year now that Guru is gone, and tonight everyone is paying respect to your son and 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 Guru. How are you feeling right now? I'm actually feeling fantastic. I, I really enjoyed the show. I appreciate everyone coming out. The crowd was great. The performers were great. It was a nice atmosphere. It was nice just to talk about him and think about all the great things that he's done, the way that his music touched people's lives. And, you know, that's the, thing, the type of things that get myself and my son and the Elam family through these hard times, just seeing how much the music touches everyone. And still to this day, you know, on a daily basis, people come up and tell stories about how his music touched them. And that's really what keeps him alive in our hearts. And, you know, he will always be missed but he can never be forgotten because of every all the music that he's done and and his fans and the reaction from the people so I'm, I'm grateful for that celebrating the life of Guru tonight and you got up there and you you really did and you did something that came from your heart what was it like the first time you met Guru and what does he mean to hip-hop now that he's gone I mean he meant everything to hip-hop while he was still here but even when he's gone it just makes you realize life is short man and that you lose great people really fast so um, I just want to take the time to say, Guru, I love you, man. I've known you for more than 25 years, and I'm just glad you left a legacy of great music behind. And anybody that ever tried to disrespect them, I'm going to bust your shit. One love, Guru. <laughs> Yes, I'm a master. 
Tell me about how you guys wanted to preserve the legacy of Guru musically because there was hip hop, but there was also the Jazzmatazz project also. Yeah, so you had Gangstar and you had the Jazzmatazz project. Now, what, what happened was um, um, Igmar and I split up the duties. He took the, uh, the Gangstar and I took the Jazzmatazz. Now, it was, it was almost impossible to do it without some of the greats that, that were a part of that, like Donald Byrd and Lonnie Liston and, and uh, 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 Dr. Lonnie Liston. And uh, so, but we did what we could, you know, and we brought, I think what we were able to do with the songs that we chose, which was some of the icon songs of, of especially of the Jazzmatazz uh, period, uh, we were able to, to adapt those with the big band and, and bring some MCs on that, that actually were there with Guru at the time. So that's, it, that, in, in, in ways of preservation, I think that was the most meaningful thing we could do, you know. I can't stop, I'm just to be a short shot Right this move is got to be a short shot Tonight we're celebrating the other half of you tonight. How do you feel? Feel good to be here. Um, shout out to Justin, his nephew, uh, for setting this off. Shout out to his sister Trish, setting it off. Shout out to his other nephew, Denzel, setting it off. Shout out to Lana. Shout out to his son, KC. I just came to hang because I'm going to support anything. That's a positive uh, situation to make Guru be remembered in a positive light. The negative light that came along with his death it has got to, you know, fall behind eventually. Because, like I said, hip hop is all about getting the positives put in the forefront for real people only. Fake people we don't even acknowledge. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about the real people, the poor people, and all the people that really, really care about making the world better. Period. Point blank, flat out. That's how we do. That's how I'm living. Anybody else, stay out of my way, because we're not here to uh, have you in our cipher. <laughs>
Back in 89, did you guys ever in a million years think that you would have the impact on just not only hip hop, but just music in general? Yes. We were on a mission. Once I, I was on a mission with the group I used to be with. Shout to Top Ski, Sugar Pop, uh, Style E.T. We were called MCs in Control. After we moved on to a different place in our lives, I hooked up with Guru and Gangstar. Gangstar already existed before me. Shout to Damo D. Ski, Mike D, Big Shug, uh, Suave D. And um, now I'm here to be the last uh, sec uh, the last segment of Gangstar's legacy. And uh, here I am. I miss Guru. I I'm hurt that he's still gone after last year. I still can't believe it, but we are here to keep a positive light going. That'll do it again for another edition of the Face Report reporting live here in the Passion Rouge. I'd like to personally thank Revived Alive for inviting me here this evening, as well as those who came out to support and remember the legacy of Guru. As always, please visit my website, www.thepatreport.com, for my weekly column as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Until next time, peace. Stay a broke life, nigga. Even need something, then just to get seven figures, you can keep that.